This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The United States and its allies are weighing an oil reserve release amid soaring prices and concern about supplies after Russia invaded Ukraine, an OPEC Plus source and a senior industry source told Reuters. Oil prices have hit the highest since 2014 following the invasion, as a result of which Western allies have imposed sanctions on Russia and blocked some Russian banks from a global payment system which could cause disruption to its oil exports. The International Energy Agency, the Paris-based body which represents mostly industrialized nations, will hold an extraordinary ministerial meeting on Tuesday, the agency's head Fatih Birol said. Commodity prices jumped on Monday with strong gains in oil, grains and metals after Russia put its nuclear deterrent on high alert and Western nations imposed tough new sanctions on Moscow following its invasion of Ukraine. Crude oil climbed back above $100 a barrel towards 2014 highs, palladium and wheat both gained 5% as traders tried to price in disruptions to Russian supplies, while gold was boosted by safe haven demand. European and British wholesale natural gas rose 20-30%, even though Russian supplier Gazprom said it was shipping gas to Europe via Ukraine in line with customers' requests. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil prices jumped on Monday as Western allies imposed more sanctions on Russia and blocked some Russian banks from a global payment system, which could cause severe disruption to its oil exports. Brent crude rose $2.32, or 2.4%, to $100.25 by 14.36 GMT after touching a high of $105.07 a barrel in early trade. The Brent contract for April delivery expires on Monday. The most active contract, for May delivery, was up $3.14 at $97.26. U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude was up $3.09, or 3.4%, at $94.68 after hitting $99.10 in early trade. China recorded its biggest increase in total energy consumption and coal use in a decade in 2021, as the economy recovered from COVID-19 slowdown a year earlier, data from the country's statistics bureau showed on Monday. China, the world's biggest coal burner and greenhouse gas emitter, used 5.24 billion tonnes of standard coal equivalent of energy last year, up 5.2% from 2020, the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, said. The rate of growth was the highest since 2011, according to Reuters records based on official data. The NBS also said coal consumption in China rose 4.6% in 2021, also the strongest rate of growth in a decade. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Aluminium prices lurched to another record high on Monday after Western nations unveiled more sanctions on major producer Russia in response to its invasion of Ukraine, fueling worries about supplies. Three-month aluminium on the London Metal Exchange hit a record $3,525 a tonne in high volumes, pairing gains to $3,445 in official open outcry trading, a rise of 2.6%. Aluminium volumes of 20,193 lots was nearly equal to that of the other main five LME metals combined. Aluminium has hit successive record peaks this month and is on track to gain nearly 14% in February, the biggest monthly rise since 2010. Benchmark iron ore futures in China and Singapore climbed on Monday over concerns that a prolonged armed conflict between Russia and Ukraine could curb global supply of the key steelmaking ingredient. The most traded May iron ore contract on China's Dalian Commodity Exchange ended daytime trading 2.7% higher at 705 yuan and 50 fen, $111.82, a ton after touching 712 yuan earlier in the session. On the Singapore exchange, iron ore's most active April contract rose as much as 3.3% to $141.25 a ton. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Export demand for the Russian wheat and new sales faded at the end of last week due to supply risks in the Black Sea, analysts said on Monday. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24, 
calling its actions a special operation. There are almost no sales, IKAR Agriculture Consultancy said, adding that it estimates the current, virtual price for Russian wheat with 12.5% protein content from the Black Sea ports at $340 per ton free on board, FOB. Sovcon, another consultancy, said demand for Russian wheat fully stopped on February 24. Before that, the price was at $314 per ton, it said. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.